Hey little guy, what are you connected to? What's up? Barnaby here in an edition of Barnaby at Home. This is a rental property I purchased in Grand Rapids. And the big question is, what is everything connected to? The house was built in 1929. And so the premise of these segments will be to take you through the process of rehabbing an older home. And we're going to use the latest and greatest in Klein tools because seriously, there are some mysteries that lie behind all these walls. Complete rewire job of an old house. It's going to be awesome. Let's get cracking. Okay, this is step one for any job and that is the proper tools, right? And they're all right where you need them, inside this awesome Klein tool bag. We're going to be explaining the whys and wherefores of why Klein came up with this bag in ensuing segments. But right now, I mean, you see all the tools we're going to be using and uh, all the projects we have in front of us. And so, at the end of this segment, you're going to have a better understanding not only of how to get inside a wall in the most effective fashion, but also which tools to use for the job. Alrighty, so. Here's where the journey begins. What are we going to be doing here, Scott? Well, what we'd like to do is to get into the box here, and we're going to add another switch by increasing our box size, as well as running a new wire to an overhead light that currently doesn't exist. Right, so it's a ceiling of mystery. Don't know how that's all going to work as far as which way the lumber's going, so it all starts right here. So Gary, come on in here. So we're going to be talking about which tools, the progression of using which client tools, for the job, so I guess first thing we gotta do is take off the switch plate, right? You got it. We're gonna use this trim screwdriver right here, which is the proper size for the trim screws. Yeah, because I mean, how many among us have uh, sat there and just said, well, I can just stick my jackknife in there and start her out? I mean, might use the right tool, right? Absolutely. These tools are designed specific use. So use the right tool, things will be safe, things will be taken off without any damage. So, right. Safe is the operative word, brother, because we don't know if there's juice behind here, right? Absolutely. We don't know what's going on with that yet. So we have this tool here. It's called a non-contact voltage tensor. It's mm -hmm. the NCVT3. This tool, if you turn it on right here, Barnaby, when it starts up, it has these flashing lights indicating the battery power that's in here. Mm -hmm. So you know if the battery's good, it's not half used, half not. Okay. The next thing is it has a light. And you can see that as you bring it closer to the object, it really lights it up so that you're able to see without working in the dark. Right, and that's okay. a really bright light because we're overcoming the light of the camera that's shooting across this Correct. way. So, I mean, this is really, really yeah. bright. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to get it in here. I have no power on my meter right now, but that doesn't mean there's nothing in there. So. Scott, if you could very carefully take the switch off and let's uh, pull it out slowly and see what we got. Will do. It's kind of like a game of operation. Touch the sides. So let's see how it works. Looking good, doctor. You notice that tool fits her properly into the screw, screw heads? And yeah. Whoa! Yeah, suddenly the patient goes to critical. We're talking a really, really old time switch here and there are no wires there. Which, uh, now let me stick this back in here and let's see what we got. Oh yeah, we got power. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go and find the circuit breaker downstairs in the basement and turn this power off so we can safely work on this. And so I guess now we put this guy to rest because you can't be digging around with this guy. There's probably a, a special tool to be going into the wall if uh, there is power, right? Yeah, there's no special tool, Barnaby. Um, there's insulated tools for when you're working something that's live, yeah. but you do not ever want to stick anything in there to try to pull something else unless you are, know that the power is off. Good point. 